Hello everybody, welcome to getting ready for third grade math like a boss. We, today we're going to be working on week four, it's day 16 in our guide, which I'll show you how to access the complete workbook at the end of the video today. We're going to be working on subtraction skills today. So now without further ado, let me teach you. All right, everybody, it's time for Boss Notes for subtraction. All you got to do is fill in the blanks in your workbook, okay? So step one for subtraction is you need to line up the digits in the correct place value, just like we did in addition. Step two, start subtracting in the ones place, just like we did in addition, but this time we're subtracting. Step three, you cannot subtract a larger digit from a smaller digit, meaning if you have two on top and seven on the bottom, you can't do that. You can't subtract a larger digit from that smaller digit. So what you need to do is regroup, okay? And you gotta check your work using addition, the inverse operation. All right. We are going to find the difference of these two numbers. When it says find the difference, that means that we are subtracting. So just remember that. So first of all, we need to line these up in the correct place value. So first we have 472 on top and 346 on the bottom. Six is in the ones place, four is in the tens place, three is in the hundreds place. And we are subtracting them, okay? Now we need to start subtracting from the ones place. Two. Take away six, two minus six, you cannot do that. You cannot subtract a larger number from a smaller number, so you need to regroup. So you go next door and you say, hey man, can I borrow one of your tens? And he says, sure you can, but now I only have six. And this guy says, thank you. We just put a one in front, 12, because two plus 10 is 12. 12 minus six, if you aren't sure of how to subtract, you could go 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, count up, and that would be 6, and there we go. 6 minus 4, we can do that, is 2. 4 minus 3, we can do that, is 1, so 126, but now we need to check using addition. So we're going to take these two numbers, okay, and we're going to add those two together. So 346 plus 126. 6 plus 6 is 12. 1 plus 4 is 5. Plus 2 is 7. And 3 plus 1 is 4. So we get 472, which was our original number. That means that we are correct, guys. Let's go to example 2. All right, example 2. So first step is to line it up in the correct place value. Nine is in the ones place, two is in the tens place, three is in the hundreds place. Okay, so when you're subtracting across zeros, that's usually pretty hard for kids. So I wanted to make sure to include a couple problems like this in the video today, okay? So starting in the ones place, zero minus nine, we can't do that. But I have nothing to regroup from over here, and I have nothing to regroup from from over here, but I do in the thousands place, okay? So we're going to regroup. We're gonna take this thousand, take him away, and now have 10 of the hundreds, okay? But I still have nothing over here to regroup from, so he's gonna become a nine, nine hundreds, and give him one of the hundreds, making it 10 up here, okay? Sorry, it's kinda of hard to see right there. All right. Now, 0 minus 9, still can't do it, but I can regroup now. So take away the 10, put a 9, and this becomes a 10. And now I can go ahead and subtract. 10 minus 9 is 1. 9 minus 2 is 7. 9 minus 3 is 6. And 0 we can't do. Okay, so now I need to check my work. 
by adding the two numbers together right here to see if I get 1,000. So 329 plus 671. 9 plus 1 is 10. 1 plus 2 plus 7 is 10. And 4 plus 6 is 10, which gives me 1,000. Boom, we are good to go. Before we move into the practice it section, what I'd like you to do is pause this video in just a second um, and try number four, three, four, and five on your own. See what you can do. All right, you're back. Let's see what you know how to do and what you still might need some help with. So we have 787 minus 59. What's our first step? That's right, to line up the digits in the correct place. Value. So the 9 is in the 1's place, it goes right under the 7. 5 is in the 10's place, goes right under the 8. Okay, and then we're going to subtract. Okay, so starting in the 1's place. 7 minus 9. You cannot subtract a larger number from a smaller one, so what do we, smaller number, so what do we need to do? Right, we need to regroup. So 8 becomes a 7, and the 7 becomes a 17. 17 minus 9, 9, pound out for 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That would be 8. I hope that you know that. I'm just trying to show you strategies for how you can get it right. Okay, now 7 minus 5 is 2. 7 minus nothing is 7. And when we check it, let's see if we're right. Adding these two numbers up. It'd be 17, that would be 8, and that would be 7. So 787, which is what we got, but 728 is our answer. Okay, number 4. 400 minus 274. Let's find that difference. First, we need to line them up. So start with 400 minus... 4 goes in the 1's place, 7 in the 10's, boom, I hope you set it up just like that. Now we've got some zeros that we are subtracting across, so 0 minus 4, we can't do that. But we can't regroup here, so we need to take and regroup from the 4. The 400 now becomes a 300. The 10's place now becomes a 10 there, and now we can regroup from that. So. That becomes 9, and this 0 becomes a 10. So 10 minus 4 is 6, 9 minus 7 is 2, 3 minus 2 is 1. So our answer for number 4 is 126. All right, last one, last one. You should have done 30. Let's try that again. 732 minus 500. 94. All right, so first step is to write it horizontal. I'm sorry, vertically. Can't think right now. Vertically, because horizontally is not the proper way to line up your digits. Got all my digits lined up, and now I start in the what place? Right, the ones place. So 2 minus 4. If I have 2, can I take away 4? No, so I need to regroup. I go next door. He gives me a 10, now he only has two, and now this guy has two plus 10, which is 12. 12 minus four is eight. Two minus nine is, right, you can't do it. So you need to go next door. Seven becomes a six. Two becomes a 12. 12, 12 minus nine is, Three, and six minus five is one. So 138 is your answer. Uh, so I totally forgot to check my work. You need to remember to check your work too. So I take these two. I'm gonna add them up. 138 plus 594. I could have done 594 on top. That would have been the commutative property of addition, but I didn't, that's okay. 8 plus 4 is 12, 1 plus 3, 4, actually I'm going to do 1 plus 9 which is 10 because that's an easy 10 to make, plus 3 is 13, Woo, what's up here, nice landing dude, 1 plus 1 
plus 5 is 7, 732, 732, which means 138 is indeed our answer. Today's B message is to be creative like a boss. You don't know how many times a day that I hear people saying, I'm so bored. Well, in my opinion, bored people are boring people. You were given gifts and talents. You need to figure out what those gifts and talents are and use them to make the world a better place. If you are an awesome artist, you need to draw and create things. If you are creative with dance, do that. There are tons and tons of ways to be creative. Maybe you're super silly. Find ways to use that to make the world a better place. So get out there, be creative, and do something that's never been done before. And that's my challenge to you. And let me know what you're doing in the world. Let me know what your creative abilities are. Comment below. Get ready, be ready, be ready, like a boss, like a boss, boss mode, boss mode. Ooh, that math. I'm getting stronger, like a